Art is thriving in the Cedar Valley. It's everywhere. But if you don't know where to look, you could miss it. This is your local arts perspective. This is the Arts Overlook. Hello and welcome to Cedar Falls Cable Television's newest show, The Arts Overlook. Through this program, we strive to expose you, the viewer, to the broad horizon of arts-related stories and events in the Cedar Valley. This episode will tell you about the Cedar Valley Acoustic Guitar Association, and you will have a front row seat as you hear the sounds of Banish Misfortune, a local Celtic band. Our first story involves one of the Cedar Valley's greatest storytellers, Nancy Price, who was recently at the Hearst Center for the Arts, reading from her acclaimed novel on its 25th anniversary. 25 years ago, Cedar Falls native Nancy Price wrote a book called Sleeping with the Enemy, centered around a young woman who goes to the great length of faking her own death to escape her abusive husband, this novel possessed immaculate timing, hitting the shelves at a time in history when battered women began coming out. It was, they hid it. For years and years they hid it. All through towns this was going on and no one mentioned it. And suddenly people began to talk about it. And I must have hit that particular time. That's all I can figure out. I was just in luck. While Sleeping with the Enemy experienced great success and was even adapted into a feature-length motion picture starring Julia Roberts, it provided Price with wonderful opportunities to further her career as an author. Well, it's made all the difference. It means I can publish my own books now and pay for them by what that book is still paying me. The effects of Sleeping with the Enemy go way beyond the financial category, however. Price was exposed to an industry on a global level, seeing her work published and adapted in various countries around the world. Look at how crazy this one is. It's got a woman, and of course it's upside down because it's Hebrew or something. Uh, she's in a box, and she's got a trigger that evidently turns her around like a doll in one of these little children's toys. Do you see her? She's a machine, in other words. Somebody has invented a cover that would say something about what I'm talking about right there. Price's book has exposed her to an ugly side of novel promotion as well. I went to London, and the London Times interviewed me for two hours. And then they said, if you will say that you have been an abused wife, we'll give you half. Page. And I said, it's none of your business. <laughs> but most importantly, Price's novel played a role in addressing a social issue. And what a thought it is to consider that a book based in Cedar Falls, Iowa, has gone on to inspire women from all over to stand up for themselves. It makes you feel good when you get letters saying, you've changed my life. Because when you think of it now, what would a re an author rather hear? I mean, if you could choose what you heard, wouldn't you rather hear that than anything else? Yeah. Price continues to write novels and writes them with a mindset that has made her into a literary icon in the Cedar Valley. In her opinion, ideas don't make a great story. It's the capturing of feeling that makes the difference. This one I call Two Liars and a Bride. It's about a clone. What would it be like? be cloned and to see you hold in your arms a baby that was you. There's the feeling I got at. Price recently finished her newest novel called Playing with Fire, which tells the story of a man named Bonfire Bonner who has burned down his competition in Waterloo, Iowa. The Cedar Valley Acoustic Guitar Association has been celebrating their 10th anniversary this year and they did it in style last week at the Oster Regent Theater. Matt Chapman has more. Last Friday, the Cedar Valley Acoustic Guitar Association celebrated their 10th anniversary with their annual fundraiser. Acoustic guitar bands and artists from the Cedar Valley got together to play in front of an audience at Oster Regent Theater. The funds raised from last Friday will go towards future events the CVAGA provides for the community, such as free concerts at the Overman Park. We like to be of service, and so we provide the free concerts in the summer, and we do this show, uh, which is a bargain at $7. Uh, a lot of people like to come to this place and want to make it affordable. We just like providing music for people who enjoy it. 
The Cedar Valley Acoustic Guitar Association is a local organization for guitar players and music enthusiasts from the Cedar Valley. The CVAGA started small with co-founders Rick Vanderwall and Rick Price. However, in time, the organization grew to a magnitude that wasn't expected. So after a couple of years of small meetings, small get-togethers, we ended up having a, a concert in the park. We put out our, our uh, couple of guitar cases and people donated enough to where we could have another one and it kind of caught on from there. Since then, the Cedar Valley Acoustic Guitar Association has grown to a community of local guitar players of all ages and skill levels. With absolutely no fees or cost to join, the organization has been growing since being founded. Once a month, the entire organization gets together for a meeting. Their meetings usually consist of song swaps, where they play their songs for one another. So for anyone who enjoys playing acoustic music or even listening to acoustic music, the CVAGA would be an excellent avenue to explore. The community of Cedar Falls is always looking for additional options for live music and the CVAGA looks to provide just that. Well, Cedar Falls is a wonderful place to be and so it's really kind of an honor and a privilege for us to be able to play for the discerning audience of the Cedar Valley. Uh, people here love live music, they follow live music, uh, and there are a lot of great players in town, a lot of great players in our organization. So The community likes it. We, we like it. We like to perform. People like to get out. Uh, I think the community appreciates it, and we appreciate the community involvement. The Cedar Valley Acoustic Guitar Association has been busy gearing up for the next show that comes up on March 10th at the Oster Regents Theater featuring Susan Warner. Tickets for this show are $17 in advance and $20 at the door. We're bringing in uh, Susan Werner, who is a singer-songwriter of the highest order. She's from Iowa, but she plays on the national stage. She's really, she's a wonderful songwriter. Even with the acoustic stars and talented local acts, the Cedar Valley Acoustic Guitar Association is always looking to add some new faces to the mix. So anybody can join. Anybody, whether you play or not. We prefer that you play something, but it's nice to, to have people in. And it, it just gives uh, everyone an outlet. And anybody who's interested, please call and visit our website, cvhea.org. Uh, we've also got a presence on YouTube. So whether you just bought your first guitar or have been playing for years, the Cedar Valley Acoustic Guitar Association will welcome you with open arms. For the Arts Overlook, I'm Matt Chapman. You can visit the Cedar Valley Acoustic Guitar Association's website, cvega.org, to further contact them if you're interested in joining the organization. It's shamrock season, and what better way for the Arts Overlook to celebrate the occasion than to feature the area's favorite Celtic band, Banish Misfortune. I recently caught up with the laddies and ladies of the band and was also treated to an exclusive live performance. The origins of the band, uh, it's really evolved over, I think it's been about four years or so. There was a place down on the, on the hill and it was just a session group. People could come, anybody could bring an instrument, play, anyone who was interested in Celtic music. And we started chatting and we said, do we want to take something that's just a session group and start practicing and actually rehearse pieces, work on arrangements? And we were like, in total agreement on that. The material that we do is, is in some cases, it's you know 300 years old, and we don't even know who wrote it. Fortunately, somebody wrote it down at some point, but it's a joke in the band that you know one of our favorite authors is you know traditional or anonymous. The music has such a core element in terms of uh, existence and fighting for survival sometimes, and the joy and the sorrow of the cycle that we go through um, as we live our lives. The biggest highlight, I think, is that we've become uh, good friends in the band. Um, I was in some bands when I was in college. They were really pathetic. Um, they weren't Celtic bands. And there was always kind of infighting and people don't get along. Our band, am I right? You guys nod your head. Our, we just get along when we have from word, word go. And with other Celtic players in, in the community. We've, we've met dancers, uh, harp players, bagpipe uh, players, I mean, uh, pipers, everybody else. 
Uh, that's been great. That's part of what this music does, actually, is it draws and brings people together. You can see Banish Misfortune perform a free show live at the Austin Region Theater on St. Patrick's Day, March 17th at 7.30 p.m. There's a lot more going on in Cedar Falls in the coming weeks, so we'll leave you with our arts calendar. Thanks for watching.